Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, we talk about motherhood, we talk about pregnancy, we do things kind of hippie, kind of natural, kind of granola, eco-friendly. If you're into that, please subscribe. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I have an almost three and a half year old and an almost one and a half year old. I am on Hey Shayla Instagram. I have a podcast, Hey Shayla. It's kind of on a hiatus until I have proper child care. Okay, so with this job, I get lots of products sent to me and I get deals where it's like, oh, talk about our product and we'll pay you to do it. I'm like, cool. I turned on a lot of deals just because I like, I wouldn't buy the product myself. It, sometimes it's too expensive where I'm like, I want that, but I would not pay for that. So I'm gonna have to say no. Sometimes I still share things even if I wouldn't use them. Like if it's for pumping moms, but I don't pump and I'm like, oh, this could be helpful just to give you guys ideas. So I was like, you know what I would love to do is a video talking about the things that I actually use use love and then reorder because sometimes I'll use something and like it but then when it's time to like actually buy it and pay for it I'm like eh, I don't really want to do that so I have a list of things some of them I'll tell you like I like this about it I didn't like this about it so you can decide if it's right for you I am a youtuber but I don't watch a lot of YouTube sometimes I think that benefits me because I just kind of do my own thing and just put out whatever I feel like other times I think it's a detriment because things like this. I didn't know that people make empties videos where they show the things that are empty that they use, showing that they've used them all. So this is my version of an empties video. We're gonna go room by room. I'm gonna tell you the things that I love and the things that I didn't. Uh, and if you want, just comment below with like another product that you've seen me talk about and ask me about it and I'll tell you what I think about it. And almost all these things I'm gonna fill you with. So if you do decide to buy, please click on my link or get my code. That'll all be in the description. If it's not, comment. I go through all the comments and I will send you the link. First one that I want to talk about is called Branch Basics. If you've seen a like ad for this, it's amazing. But basically there you get a bottle of concentrate and then you get a bottle of like all purpose, a bottle of bathroom cleaner, streak free window cleaner, laundry soap detergent, and then hand soap. The concentrate works for all of those. It just, it just depends on ratio of water to soap and it tells you right on the bottle. It's amazing. And I was kind of like, I'm going to use the same thing for my laundry that I'm using for my hand soap that I'm using for my window washing. Yes. And it's amazing and it's not toxic. I was cleaning the toilet while he was taking a bath and I was spraying, not with Branch Basics, with some other chemical ridden substance. And I sprayed the toilet and I cleaned it off and then I set the bottle on the bath and when it did something, well, Leah grabbed the bottle and sprayed it into her eyes. Could have been very bad. I don't worry about that with Branch Basics because it's all not toxic. I'm sure it would still irritate her eyes, but it's like soap. I love it. They sent me the plastic bottles. I would love to have the glass bottles, but I'm not gonna throw away the plastic just to get the glass. If like one breaks, then I'll have a reason to get the glass ones. But until then, they sent it to me and then that was it. And then I've purchased and refilled like three or four times. They also have an oxygen boost something. I use that on my cloth diapers. I use that on my whites. It's amazing. This stuff takes stains out of everything. It's incredible. They have a dishwasher soap don't love that don't love the dishwasher soap so just gonna throw that out there so for dishwasher soap i use blue land which is also an amazing non-toxic company all i have used with them is their dishwasher soap but they do like plastic free and all that moving on the second thing that i use every single day is clearly filtered clearly filtered filters out everything like the water tastes different in a good way like it tastes cleaner my mom is on it now. I put it in my humidifier because it like filters everything. I ask them, they're like, yeah, it works in humidifiers. So like I use the thing all day, every day. They have water bottles. I haven't had luck with their water bottles. They say that they're supposed to drink like a thick smoothie. It's like too much for me. I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of the water bottles, but if I was traveling in an airport, I would absolutely use them. If I was like sending my kid to school, I would absolutely give it to them just so they can filter all the water that's coming out of like a water fountain. If you're home a lot and you like don't do a lot of traveling, just get yourself some filtered water. And if you're traveling with a baby, you can fill up a water bottle with filtered water and have it go through security because they have to do that for like formula. So know that they have to test it, but then you can carry your filtered water through. If you don't really care, then you got less anxiety than I do and I'm happy for you. Hair away pans. I feel like I have to be doing something wrong. I have destroyed my caraway pans. It's because they're a little finicky. So they're like made to be very beautiful and they are very beautiful. Ceramic, coated, they were incredible at first. So you're not supposed to crack your egg on the edge. I do that. So I've got like streaks going down the side and it's taken away some of the paint. You're not supposed to do anything higher than like six on your temperature. So you're always supposed to cook on a medium. I have a really hard time with that. I want everything to be on high and just like to cook it fast. So I think I've ruined them by doing that. I 
also wonder if having the gas, the flame, ruins them more. I've tried to like clean it off and it's just like stuck on there. I don't think you're supposed to put oil directly on the pan. Maybe that's not right. But I know that the oil gets sticky on there and creates like this residue. If you want beautiful pans and you want to take care of them properly by not putting it in the dishwasher, by not using metal on it, they're fantastic. But I found that like butter, and I don't do dairy, but if I put butter on there, that helps it nonstick. So there's my two cents about that. But like the baking stuff that I don't use as much, like the cupcakes and stuff, they fall right out of there. Like it's pretty incredible. I just have literally destroyed my caraway pans. The only reason why I have not completely like stopped with them is because I have friends that are still in love with their caraway pans and they look like they did when they first got them. How does that happen? Why do I not look like that? I use unpaper towels. So I originally use this brand called Papaya. They say that it's like a the Swedish dishcloth, but it's less stinky totally is. I just found that just using these unpaper towels from Etsy were easier because I could just wipe something up and then wash them just to have like a ton of dish rags and I just wipe things up. People that come over, like when we have guests over, loathe them. They're like, you don't have just paper towels. I'm like, no, I have the unpaper towels. So I usually keep a, a roll of regular paper towels for when we have guests over. Stasher bags. Stasher bags are amazing. I love them. I use them for like colored pencils. I use them for obviously like frozen things or hot things. Like I love the stasher bags and they're kind of expensive, but they're better than Ziploc that you just have to keep rebuying. You spend the money you buy them once and then you have them. I love them. I did an ad with Water Drop. Water Drop is like a thing that you could put in your water for flavor. They're great. They taste really good. I like drinking regular water, but if you're like, I don't drink enough water, I need some flavor, Water Drop is a great solution because they come in little tiny recyclable packets, so it's pretty eco-friendly. Good flavor. But I just found this new electrolyte called Element, L-M-N-T. I think I'm late to the game here, but salt, 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 salt. There's salt in there, there's magnesium. It's salty. Like I love the citrus one because it kind of tastes like a margarita. Like you get the salt and the citrus. They have not sent me anything. I just bought it and I'm on their subscription so I can get more. And when I start working out soon, I'll be drinking lots of electrolytes. All right, that's the kitchen. Now let's move over to the bathroom. Dime Beauty. I was sent some of their face care stuff. I was not super into it. My sister loves it. She like has the whole thing. Her acne and stuff is cleared up. I'm like, what's gonna get rid of this other than Botox? That's basically what I'm focused on. Crow's feet, no problems. Bags. I don't care. I don't really break out that often. I am right now a little bit, but like my skin's like pretty good except for this butt crack in the middle of my face. So maybe that was me being like, it didn't fix my butt crack. So I know people that like it. I just wasn't super great. I love Merit. Merit is this. It's just like, they call it like minute makeup. It comes with a lot of things. I've had this for like two or three years. The only thing that I use out of there, the concealer for under my eyes. Love it. I didn't like their mascara because I don't like waterproof mascara. I want to be able to just wipe it off. They have a lip oil that I like because it's not sticky. And then I do a Thrive mascara. This they say is like tubular. So it creates tubes around your eyelashes, which I thought was weird until I tried to take it off and you literally have like an eyelashes coming off. It's kind of nuts, but it comes off with water super easy. I have this. This is a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't come in shades, so I don't know how, exactly how that works. I really like it. It just makes me feel like put together. And then I have this milk. It's too bright. Mascara. I call it eyebrow mascara. So you just like go in here in your eyebrows. Boom, boom, boom. Done. I don't know what I just did. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Yeah. But if you use like the highlighter and the bronzer and all that, it's I really like it. Native deodorant. I use native for years. Specifically, I think the cucumber mint was like the one that really worked for me. Then someone commented that there's fragrance in there and fragrance is apparently the catch-all word for like a million different ingredients. Some are toxic, some are not. So people do not like things with fragrance in them. So I was like, nah. So I started not using Native anymore and now I'm still on the hunt. I actually just bought this pH balancing thing for your armpits. I know a crunchy friend and a non-crunchy friend, like a non-toxic conscious friend and somebody who doesn't, who doesn't really care that much about it. And both of them said that it's amazing. So I can't wait to try that. I just found a brand called Swally. So this is a husband and wife. The wife makes mats play mats on one side it's like a design like for adults on the other side it's like a road but they're wipeable they're cleanable because as he pooped on the rug one day and that was the end of the rug and i was like i need to find something that's going to be better for this they sent it to me it's currently in my living room i don't know that it's living room vibes it would be great for like a nursery or just like a play area then the husband does like non-toxic balms so i have 
one that I've been using on my eyes and I feel like it's really helped with some of my wrinkles, but I really, 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 really like it. Their deodorant did not work for me and I think it maybe stained some of my clothes a little bit. So Tubby Todd, all over ointment and obvious, yes, I feel like everyone knows this, but like for eczema, for dry skin, for lots of stuff, Tubby Todd is amazing. And then Rise Well for toothpaste. So when I start my podcast up again, I'm going to interview this holistic dentist and she recommends this. There's something in these toothpastes that remineralizes your teeth. And so I've been using it because I was using Luminu and I've done collaborations with Luminu and they're really good for whitening your teeth. But the toothpaste, I felt like I had a grime by the end of the day. Like it was just, I didn't love it. This I love. I've rebought it like three or four times again, and I have it for the kids. The kids have a cake batter toothpaste flavor. I really, really like this, and this holistic dentist recommends them specifically. Okay, moving on to clothing. Kindred Bravely is a nursing bra. I don't wear a lot of nursing bras, but the ones that I have used are Kindred Bravely, specifically Sublime Sports Bra. And if you go on their website, I was just front and center on there with little baby Aaliyah. I also just wear mostly sports bras, and but I did like theirs and it lasted for like a few years before it started to get like stretched out. So I went through this like grounding barefoot shoe hunt. Earthrunner sandals I got and I love. They basically just have a conductor on the bottom so you can be earthing even while you're wearing them. Meaning that you're getting a bunch of free electrons which attach to free radicals in your body and neutralize them. Helping with inflammation, helping with a lot of stuff. Grounding is fascinating to me. I actually bought sheets so that I'm grounded all night while I sleep. And then Vivo footwear, it's just like, instead of having your shoes be like a kite where it kind of goes together at the toe, it's like a triangle more. Your feet can sprawl out the way they're supposed to and like function properly. They don't have half sizes for Vivo, so it did not work for me because I was a true half size. Like tens were too big and the nines were too small and they didn't have a nine and a half, but I really liked them. My favorite ones were Primus Light Knit and Primus Light Three. I tried to make them work and I just couldn't with the half size. Okay, health, high of vitamins. I'm somebody, like when I was traveling, everybody was going to Bali and I was like, I don't want to go to Bali if everyone's going to Bali. That's how I felt about these high of vitamins. I feel the same way about ritual, ritual vitamins for women. I might try them. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm like, is this just good marketing? Like everybody wants these vitamins. Well, I don't want them just because everybody wants them. Well, I got them, the high of vitamins and Aaliyah loves them. She asks to take her vitamins. You set up a subscription. So they come every, I set it up for like 45 days because realistically I do not give them to her every single day like I should. But now that we're getting into like daycare and illness, I'm a little bit better about it. And like I said, she asked for them, but there's no sugar in them. That's what I like about it. I feel like sugar's in everything and it should definitely not be in vitamins. Probiotics, we use Love Bug. I use it during pregnancy. It can help with your strep B booty swab when you're pregnant. If you test positive for strep B, then you will be on antibiotics for birth, which is not good for your gut biome or your babies as they're coming out. So if you can get a negative strep B, that's really important. And probiotics during pregnancy can help with that. Then probiotics after pregnancy and probiotics for your baby. You do the D drops, vitamin D for your infant. I used to just put them on my nip, breastfeed my baby. Well, they have them with probiotics in them for your baby. So they've got the vitamin D and the probiotic. It's amazing. That can help with colic. I give them to them now if my kids have to have antibiotics for like ear infections or whatever. We've only done a few times, but I always make sure to give the probiotics after they're done for like the next few months. Love bug is great. I just put it in their water and spin it and it's done. First form, magnesium. Literal game changer. I use this every single night before I go to sleep. So magnesium helps with anxiety. Magnesium helps you to calm down and fall asleep and it can be super beneficial in pregnancy. Remember, I have a video talking about hemorrhoids or fissures. It can help soften your stool. So there's tons of benefits. I do it every single night and I notice a difference. Like, yeah, I just use Rise Coffee and they were like, did you notice a difference? And I was like, not really. And I didn't love the flavor of rice coffee. I loved the matcha and I'm all about it, but I don't notice like a difference in bloating or concentration or anything like that. I notice a difference with the magnesium for falling asleep and having a better night's sleep. I do it every night and it's super cheap. It's like 40 bucks for a three month supply. I also do their proteins. I can't do whey because I can't do dairy. So they have a vegan protein that is delicious. I like the oatmeal cookie. It's kind of like a cinnamony flavor. It's good. And lastly for health is expecting and empowered. If you are pregnant or postpartum, I cannot recommend expecting and empowered enough. It gives you a week by week guide for what to do while you're working out. That's safe because it's made by a woman's health physical therapist. So they like tell you what's safe to do at each step of the pregnancy. And then starting day one after you have your baby and it's mostly just pelvic floor stuff. 
If you do it during pregnancy, it helps to prepare for labor, and if you do it after, it helps to repair from labor. And I mean it, I've done it for two pregnancies now and it has helped so much. Lastly, children's stuff, Love Every. I use Love Every so much with my first and I was so geeked about it because I was learning all the things with there and I thought it was so wonderful. It's a Montessori kit, so it's all non-toxic toys. It's a subscription, so it comes like every two or three months and it tells you like, this is what your baby's learning this month. This, these are the activities that you can do with them. As a new mom, it's amazing because you're like, this is so cool and you're like super interactive. Oh, and then if you get it, keep the boxes and then put the toys back in the box and then that's what you'll store. So that if you have a second, you can be like, okay, now we're at this stage and you can pull it back out and pull out the toys. And and sometimes I just go in there and like find toys that I think they'd be interested in, even though it's not at the right age because they can use them differently. With my second, I do not pull them out as much as I should. They're still the majority of the toys that we use because aesthetically they're cute, but also I feel safe when they're like chewing on them, that they're not like chewing on plastic and paint and whatever. And they get creative. They're not loud visually. They're not loud audibly. Made to help you developmentally with your kid. I think they're cool. This is like getting exhaustive. I hope you don't buy all these things, but I hope that some of them you're like, oh, that sounds interesting. The kitchen helper. We have one that converts to a table. It's fantastic. As he's always like up, up when I'm trying to make food and I'm like, I can't pick up right now, I'm making food. But if I put her in the helper and she's like at my level and she can kind of see what I'm doing or I'll put a snack on the table and she can eat that or I'll put like some spoons and she can play with that, she's happy. If you're limited on space, you have the kitchen helper and then it goes boop into a table and then they can sit there and eat their meal. It's pretty darn great. I can't think of anything else. That, that was like the list of things that I really wanted to talk about as far as what I loved, what I didn't love. So if you have any questions where you're like, Shay, you talked about this thing, but you didn't talk about it in this video, just comment below and I will tell you my honest opinion about it. But just know that if I'm partnering with a company, it's because I really like them. Either I like something that they do, I would personally recommend it to someone else or I use it and I reached out to them or they reached out to me and I was like, yeah, this is a pretty cool thing that I think people would be interested in. Okay, this is a long one, but I hope uh, you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye.